about it. Let's talk about the presidential election. I will openly admit I am right leaning. I am le I lean right. The election coming up is an absolute crap show. Anyone with eyes and ears can see that we are walking into an absolute crap show. Biden doesn't know what's happening, what he's doing, where he's going, who he is half the time. Trump is now a convicted felon, hiding Stormy Daniels money. I don't have any say against that. I don't give a crap about that, to be fair. I think any people who care about the election coming up in four months' time could absolutely see that it is a walking crap show. I don't like either of the candidates. I'm light right leaning. I lean right. I'm socially Democrat. I'm physically Republican. I love what Republicans do, the way they physically run the government. And I socially love what Democrats do because, again, I'm have like make love with people. I don't care who you make love to. Biden, bad choice. Trump, bad choice. I don't like any of these candidates right now. The only reason I would vote Donald Trump right now is because I can't commit to Biden, if that makes sense. Like, Trump is a walking PR party. The dude's good in front of the mic. I could admit that. The dude is damn good in front of the mic. Give him a mic and he could speak about anything for 10 minutes time. Biden doesn't know where the crap he is. He just decided to show up on this last year's State of the Union. I give him that. Biden balled out at this last year's State of the Union. Anyone, again, I'm not even a big Biden backer, and I was like, oh, this dude's talking shit at the last year's uh, State of the Union. I was down with it. I was like, dude found himself. And that, like, I was down. I was like, maybe Biden's going to make a comeback with the millennials, with the Gen Z. He's going to help housing funding. He's going to help... A lot of things millennials and Gen Zs need. But I just don't think Biden wins. Let me tell you why. Recency bias will prevail this election, in my humble opinion. As a random millennial, 32 years old, recency bias will prevail. People are going to look at inflation. The fact that inflation's been jacked up the last year and a half, damn near two years. People are going to look at, again, Israeli Palestine, all the good juicy crap going on in the world, because the world's a sh crap show right now. Anyone with eyes and ears can admit the world's a ball of crap show. But Biden doesn't do anything to help himself. Biden isn't a walking PR party. Donald Trump could crap on a toilet. The duo will say, I just dropped the biggest crap anyone in the world have seen. And half of y'all would be busting nuts, because even I admit I bust nuts when Trump drops a par PR party, because the dude knows how to be good on the mic. I don't like either of the candidates. I don't. The only reason I lean Donald Trump is because he's a little more with it, but I just don't like how he interacts with other governments because he's almost too big dick squad for his own good. The dude's like, we don't like you. Let me remind you, we got some bombs. Yeah, I said it. Either of the choices are damn near dookie. I don't like that. I, 
this is just an upfront honest video again this is primarily a hot sauce channel I just had to get this off my chest in f four wow alcohol four months time I don't know who I'm voting for because either the options are puke on top of puke I could tell you why I could give you pros and cons of each one but either of the choices is straight dookie Biden hasn't done anything to help himself other than the State of the Union in the last couple of months. Trump's now a convicted felon. What is happening? There's no independent, to my knowledge. Trump is picking his VP. Kamala Harris is still going to be with Biden. There's not good looks anywhere. I would hate not to vote because that's just ruining my point zero 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 one percent chance of affecting the whole election like can I vote for a hedgehog Can I vote for Sonic could someone else please come in the running Democrats even admitted that they would rather Joe Biden not run so they could have again he would have given them a year's notice so they could have fitted him with someone else. And they he didn't give a year's notice, so he's just, again, assumed the, the presidential runner, just like Trump, because he outgained his competitions in all the primaries. He's the assumed runner, and the Republicans have now bowed down to him. He is the assumed runner. There is no good choice in this upcoming election, at least for me. I admit I am slightly right-leaning. I could admit that to anyone. But even the f thought of voting Donald Trump right now scares me a little bit. The thought of voting Biden scares me a little bit. It's not cool right now, ladies and gentlemen. It's not cool at all. I, I, ho I wish for your opinions in the comments. I hope for your opinions in the comments. I'm just a millennial with an opinion looking for the internet, you know, back and forth. Um... Thank you all to who subscribed for this channel. Thank you all who dropped a like, dropped a comment. Anyone who's ever commented on a video. Anyone who's ever watched my video. Thank you. But uh, that was just a little rant I want to get off my chest. Four months time in November. It's not looking good. Not looking good. Trump always has his figure on the trigger. Again, he's a walking PR party for his own good. But he's just almost that level of, like, ugh. I can't tell you an independent runner. Guys, it's going to be something else. Come November, come four months from now, this Christmas in January is about to be a whole series of events for for us as americans i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys liked the video this is just an honest guy's thoughts um please go vote please please go vote i don't care if you're democrat republican independent please go vote for your own good um that's about it that was just my thoughts on the election. Guys, happy Saturday. And uh, let's go make some house videos. Spend Chris Kratz. Thank you. Thank you for your time.